hello hello my lovely now davis i got a video for you guys i'm going to be doing the madame glam poly gel and this is called dahlia so i have my nails filed off pushed back and prepped ready to go i am going to take a cotton swab of alcohol and clean my nail beds really good one more time. I just have some alcohol here. This is such a pretty color guys. I love this color. There is Dahlia. Very pretty. I love that color.
have already filed these up, but what I'm doing now is I'm just going around and adding more to the back part of it. So let me tell you a little bit about this poly gel. I love this Madame Glam poly gel. Now it is a soft poly gel, even softer if you, it is warm uh, in, a, in warm temperature, but in cold temperature it's just great. I love it. It's really soft. Um, it doesn't move all over the nail. Um, I use just regular alcohol to move it around. Um, but I like it because it's so easy to work with. And guys, let me just say, um, when working with polygel, now I know a lot of you usually, you know, watch polygel tutorials and this and that, trying to learn how to do polygel. Um, when I first started doing polygel, um, I would use like really big beads and this and that, but honestly, no joke guys, the cameras make things look more enlarged than what they are, so keep that in mind when you're doing polygel nails, that it doesn't take a whole lot. You want your nails thin, you want them thin, almost like credit card thin. So, um, that was one of the biggest things I had to learn when doing poly gel because I would watch, you know, when I was learning how to do it, I would watch tutorials and um, I would be putting way too much poly gel on my hand and then couldn't figure out why um, it was getting all over my place or in my cuticle, this and that. Um, but, yeah, I always have to keep that in mind when doing poly gel or acrylic or things like that, that the camera does enlarge everything so it's not as big as you think it is same thing whenever I was doing acrylic when I first started doing acrylic I'd watch tutorials and this and that you know teaching myself how to do this and um, come to realize that um, it's not as big as it looks Also remember, whenever you push back your cuticles as so, um, do remember as well that the cuticles do tend to come to slide back down. So, you know, you want that barrier between your cuticle and the poly gel. That way it doesn't get, you don't get an allergic reaction or anything. But this poly gel is so smooth, guys. I absolutely love Madame Glam's poly gel. It is a little on the expensive side. I'm not going to say that it isn't um it's i can't quite remember exactly how much i gave for it but i will link it down below for you guys that way you can go check it out i just want to make sure that it has strength you don't want too much alcohol um i like it um, it does really well with alcohol, it seems like. It doesn't cause any streaking or anything like that. See how easy? I mean, it just glides so easy down the nail. Love it. All right, guys. So let me just say this poly gel is so soft. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna turn this on really low. And this is just a sanding band that I got from um, my car. But this poly gel is so super soft, guys. Like you don't have to have a um, a drill to to be able to drill this poly gel. You can use a regular hand file. I just prefer to use a sanding band on low and all I'm going to do is go around the edges here.
so that is Madame Glam's Poly Gel Dahlia. Very, very pretty. I will leave that link down below for you guys so you can go, you can go check it out. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Go ahead and subscribe because it's totally free. Why not? And I love you guys so very much. And thank you for all your love and support. You guys have a great day. Bye. Stay tuned to see what will be uh, my next nail design on these nails. And I just want to say thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye.